Well, in March of 2020, our world was rocked when the coronavirus was officially declared a national pandemic. And while many who contracted the virus have fully recovered, two years later, one Brooklynite is still fighting. Well, our News 12's Jordan Kassane has more. The same kind of conditions that can predispose somebody to have an adverse outcome in the hospital um, can also uh, predispose a patient to greater risk post uh, post sequelae in, in the long phase. The long phase or long COVID happens to about 30% of the world's population who after contracting the coronavirus continue to suffer from its symptoms for months on end. Dr. Jeffrey Fine works to bring his long COVID patients down the road to recovery. Jesenia's story is a story of a patient who was severely involved. She had acute severe respiratory failure on a ventilator and um, her recovery is a demonstration that the body has a remarkable ability to heal. Our News 12 crews caught up with one of Dr. Fine's patients who says that today marks two years since she was rushed right here to NYU Langone Hospital Brooklyn to be treated for COVID-19. If it wasn't for them, I won't be here. Jasenia Serrano was part of the hospital's first wave of COVID patients. She entered the emergency room with underlying conditions and failing lungs. Then she woke up a whole month later. When I woke up, I couldn't walk, I couldn't write, I couldn't talk. It was, it was a scary, scary feeling. Almost two years since her release from the hospital, Serrano gets rehabilitation here weekly. I still have some type of symptoms like the lungs and you know the walking is still I still lose my balance and everything but I'm getting better. She's not in tip top shape quite yet but Serrano says she's still got a lot of fight left in her. In Crown Heights, Jordan Kassane, News 12.